Hello again, YouTube. We are back on Free Code Camp and doing JavaScript algos and data structures. We are in the regular expressions course on challenge 18 of 33. So today we're going to match all letters and numbers. So this is a very simple lesson that I don't want to overcomplicate because we've learned a lot of ways to do this before. And this is just going to be a shortcut to do exactly what we've learned before. Um, just shorthand. Okay, so that's all this is. Don't let this confuse you too much. So we know that if we use this character class, so character class being the square brackets, and then we say A through Z, capital, A through Z lowercase, 0 through 9, that will grab any letter and any number. As you can see, they also have an underscore here because they're also grabbing underscores. But this, this uh, expression essentially grabs all letters and all numbers. Generally, we include an underscore with this just because, you know, usernames, those kind of things. With computers, we'll have an underscore included. Um, as you can see, important underscore var, that's, you know, you can imagine a username would allow an underscore, so you do want to grab those two. We could write this expression out in full every time, but there is a shorthand to do this, which is the backslash w. So this will grab all letters, numbers, including the underscore. Because again, this is a common thing we would want to do with computers just because of how accounts and usernames and things work. We generally want to include the underscore, even if we're not looking for symbols, just as edge cases, we will include that. So um, letters, numbers, no symbols, except the underscore, you can use the W character, uh, the W operator, I guess. This is... Um, one I do have memorized, I've said in the, some of the previous videos, most of these regular expressions and the selectors, you don't really commit to memory. You kind of look up as you need to. But this is one that's fundamental enough that I would say, you know, it's simple enough, backslash W, gets you all letters and numbers. Most people do have this committed to memory. So a helpful and powerful shorthand that I would try and remember. And it is important to note that with regex, as you can see here, it is generally a forward slash to start the regex, like forward slash, forward slash at the end. Uh, but with this W operator, we do want to use the backslash, which is under your backspace key, but above the enter key. So if you press the that key without uh, shift, it does the backslash. If you press it with shift, it's the pipe operator. So that's underneath your backspace key above the enter once again. So all we're going to do for this challenge, and if we look here, we can see the longhand version. They have it spelled out longhand. They have the shorthand, and then they have two strings, one with numbers, one with letters. The letters one also has an underscore, but the main part is we have a string of numbers, we have a string of letters. If we use either of these expressions, all of the tests will say true, will return true, because, well, if you look at the strings, there only are letters and numbers in them, an underscore included, but just letters and numbers, which is exactly what we just learned. This W and this this character class A through Z, A through Z, 0 through 9, that's what they match, right? Pretty clearly, this is spelled out. This is a shortcut. So that's all this is trying to teach you. You can use the shortcut, and that's all we have to do for this challenge, is use the shortcut to match all letters and numbers within this, this string here. So use the shorthand character class backslash w to count the number of alphanumeric characters in this, the various quote strings. Okay, so not only do they want us to match all the characters, but they want us to return the count of them. So as we learned here, we can use the backslash w operator to select all characters, a through z, capital and lowercase, as well as all numbers. And then we also want to grab all of them. So if we look now, what we have, this this matches any letter or number, 0 through 9, A through Z, capital or lowercase, but this is a test. So all it's, oh no, this is a match. So let's see, console.log result. And you can see result is the match dot length. So as we know, match returns an array of all matches. So all this this is currently doing right now, if we take this length off, and we look, all we have in there is a T because it's just matching the first letter of the string and saying, yep, that's a match because that's all we told the expression to do, right? So if we want to match all letters, all alphanumeric characters, as the challenge tells us, we have to tell it to match all of them globally, right? So they're using the plus, the plus sign here, but I know for a fact that if I want to match not the first match, but 
all matches, I can use the G, the global flag. And now we can see, yep, that expression is matching all letters, all alphanumeric letters and numbers, but not the period at the end. Yep, not the period at the end. And we want to use the shorthand to uh, get the count. So that's why they had the dot length at the end. And now we can see, boom, result is now a number. And this makes sense, and I hope this makes sense to you guys, because if we take this off, result is equal to quote sample, which is a string, dot match, which is a method, right? Methods are functions. So we're calling the match function. So this expression that I have highlighted is a function call. It's a method call. And as I say in like nearly every, every video, a function call is equal to what it returns. So as we know, the match method returns an array of matches so the result is now assigned to be this array of matches. So all we're doing is changing a result to be the array of matches dot length. So the number value of how many matches there are from this expression and then returning that. Well, we're not really returning that. That's, that's all we're really doing here because FreeCodeCamp checks it itself, but that's all we're doing is setting a result to be the length of how many matches we found, okay? So I hope that helped. I hope that made sense. If it did not, please leave a comment and I'll do my best to get back to you. I did say I wasn't going to try to overcomplicate this, but I really just want to make sure you guys understand what's going on here uh, before we proceed into more complex expressions. So hope that helped. See you guys in the next video.